Hey guys, and welcome back. I'm Saeed, a DevOps engineer with a massive interest in Kubernetes, security, data, and engineering in general. Today's video, we're going to be building on top of the session or the series that we ran just a week and a half back. And that's the session where we built out a Kafka environment and containerized it and then deployed it on Kubernetes. Today's session is aimed at effectively setting up the producer and the consumer in a dynamic way. And the way we're going to do that is rather than running the commands as we did the last time, if you look through the readme, or if you had, if you followed along, you would have seen that we were calling the Kafka commands or the functions that we'd created prior, right? And that was being run as we had exec into each respective container or pod. And we were creating topics, we were listing topics, we were producing messages and consuming messages. But today's session really is about extending that functionality further. We're going to do that using Python. Now, we're going to write a Python script that not only consumes, but also produces to the broker or to the topic. And we're going to see how we do that. Cool. So without further ado, let's crack on. So this section here, I've actually sped up and this is a recording um, after the session. The rest of the video is a live session that I was running. Um, this part here, the reason why I sped it up is because it's just the boring part of installing all the different dependencies. But if you are curious, um, the steps that I took was the actual SSHing into the Pi because my Kubernetes cluster actually runs on my Raspberry Pi, local to me. Um, and upon that, execing into the two pods, the Zookeeper and the Kafka pod. And then from that point onwards, installing the different dependencies like the Kafka, uh, oh sorry, before the Kafka actually installing pip on the two pods and then the Kafka Python library. Upon that, I actually installed the Vim uh, editor too, just so that I could edit the scripts. So yeah, that's effectively what was done. Uh, we'll just check what version of Python we're running on here. Python hyphen hyphen version. I think it should be Python 2, yeah. So we have that as Python 2. Great. And we'll just quickly call that Kafka library. From the Kafka library, we want to import Kafka consumer. Great. Cool. So that should allow us to uh, effectively have the ability to call this. So first we'll set up the topic name, we'll run that as a variable, we'll store the variable, we'll call it Saeed, that'll be the name of our topic. I'm going to back out of this and quickly give Grant that executable access or executable rights. And what we'll do is we've got our type create topic here, and that's just this function calling that function, we're going to create that topic. So let's quickly do that. Let's run create hive underscore topic. We'll just call it Said. Okay. And from the zookeeper pod, we should be able to list underscore topics. Once that topic's created. Yep, topics created. Create a topic Said. We should be able to list from this. Yeah, from this pod. There we go. Cool. So we can see they're in sync. Obviously, from our previous session, we've set them up already. So if we head back over to that uh that script what we could do now is we can instantiate right we can instantiate a consumer right and we'll call that kafka consumer function pass a few parameters we'll have the first one right as the topic name okay as we've already established that said and we need our bootstrap server bootstrap underscore servers Okay, we'll give that a value, but first let's find out what the value of our bootstrap server is. So the bootstrap server is effectively saved um, as a parameter in the consume, or one of the functions anyway, one of the custom functions. But because it's been some time since, um, since I actually looked back at this code or the function script that, script that I created before, 
I actually forgot what the name of that function was. So I was typing out consume underscore topic when actually it was consume underscore txt and you'll see that soon. But it's important that I, I add this part because yeah, for entire transparency and it's also important that you guys get to see the entire ordeal, be it successful or not. Ah, consume txt is the script. Okay, cool. So first things first, what I wanna do is I wanna type consume underscore txt so here we can see the bootstrap server is given as kafka 1992 and the reason for that is because the kafka pod we actually exposed it on the port um 1992 and that that effectively serves as our bootstrap server so if we head back over to our consumer pod or our consumer script rather sorry hit i and that and what we want to do is we want to effectively get that bootstrap server in there. So here it was Kafka, 1992. And that, that serves, that will serve as our bootstrap server. Just bring that to the new line. And we want to run a quick for loop that effectively loops through the, you know, the topic for all the messages and just reads it on a, on a loop basis. So it only read the number of messages in that in that topic. So let's run a quick for loop for message in consumer. Consumer being obviously the instantiated um, value of the of the function provided. So for message in the consumer um, topic, right? Print message. Quite straightforward, quite simple, nice and easy. So just from the top, there we have our script. And now if we run our consumer pod or our consumer script rather, mind me, it is quite late. As you can see, it's 10, 18, I've had a pretty long day. So um, that script is running, right? And that script is running and it will continue streaming until messages come in and out and will be effectively streaming here. So. Now let's crack on with the Zookeeper pod. We're gonna head over to home again. Again, I think we have our Vim already installed. I hit VI uh, producer. We wanna create our producer uh, script now. And this again, it will follow a very similar suit to what we have already. So we could just take note of what we've already sort of created uh, within our consumer pod. So I'm gonna back out of there, clear my screen. I'm going to cat that consumer script. Okay. And in the consumer script, what we'll see is, sorry. Yeah. We'll see that we're still again, uh, you know, establishing that, that, um, that initial parameter or the initial line producer dot pi again, run that user bin environment again it's python 2 that's just the version of python we're running again that'll be relative to your environment from kafka from the kafka library import kafka but this time we're not looking to import the kafka consumer we're looking to import the kafka producer right and again same story with the topic topic name will be again saeed and we'll just be instantiating the same exact style. We've got the producer, right? And our producer will be effectively created using the Kafka function, Kafka producer function. And that will be calling the bootstrap underscore servers. Again, Kafka 1992. We'll just close that parameter, close off that parentheses rather. And here we'll be running, um, we'll be producing a message. Um, and the way we produce the message will again be, you, we could either just, you know, send the message, but I like to send a number of different messages. Um, maybe let, let's start off by sending one message. So we'll just do producer dot send send will be the functions um a function within that within that class that you know 
that Kafka producer class. Um, and here we could, you know, specify the name, topic underscore name. And here we also specify our message. So we can say hello. We can close that off. And here, what generally happens is if I run this script, run it like this, is that the producer will only produce messages once it's collated a relatively respectable amount of messages and then it will produce those messages. But if we want to run them on a streaming basis, we need to also pass a different function called producer dot flush. And that will effectively send messages as they come in. So rather than um, sort of sending messages uh, and, you know, waiting for a respective, say, you know, 5, 10, 15, maybe every 10 minutes or every 10 messages, we want to send messages as as we run the script. So like, you know, push them right the way through. So let's clear the screen and we're going to run that script to consume. That consumer script is now running live. And we're just going to give this executable rights, this producer script here. Now that that's got producer rights or, sorry, uh, executable rights, we could run this and it shouldn't give us any issues. It should actually output directly, but we'll, we'll have a look. There you go. So you've got consumer record the, to the topic, Said, partition zero, offset zero, timestamps, uh, some metadata here. The value is hello. And yeah, we've got a number of different, um, a very, you know, number of different um, entries of, of metadata that could be useful for other reasons. So now if we want to message, if we want to produce more than one message, we could just put this in a, in a loop. So we could say for message, or we could say for uh, text in range, say three. We want to send three messages, let's say. We just need to push this to match the indentation. And that should send three messages. But let's say we want to send a new message rather than hello. We could say something like... Uh, let's see. Who are you? We want three messages of who are you, right? Clear that screen and we'll just run that script again. And that should output those messages unless we've come with issues, which we haven't. There you go. So the moment that executed, that, you know, the messages were printed right the way to the screen as soon as. And that was pretty quick, if I do say so myself. Um, and again, yeah, this is um, effectively building on the previous session or sessions um, or series. If you guys like these videos, do let me know. Um, I really enjoy them. I'll be exploring, checking out um, different technologies, different ways you could effectively, you know, learn these tools. Um, and yeah, trying to present them to you in a you know, simple, digestible manner. These were very, very simple scripts written. I will share them. Uh, in fact, I've already uploaded them to my uh, GitHub, the README, um, and the relative path in which I will be sharing down below in the description box. So do keep an eye out for uh, new videos coming up. I'll be emphasizing a lot more on security. Um, and yeah, because that's an area that really interests me. And I think um, it is an area that really does need to be addressed in many organizations. So yeah, if you guys did enjoy that, be sure to uh, like, subscribe, leave a comment and come and say hello. See you on the next one.